everybody welcome back I am Lina with Tech Tutorials today we're gonna do things a little different I have another tutorial plan for another uh, game we're gonna do tic-tac-toe so uh, that's for another video but today I want to show you guys the difference between scratch and microbit and we are not new to microbit there is a project we made for microbit and scratch and uh, I just want to show you the possibilities you guys have with microbit and kind of show you the difference between the two so let's go ahead and get started with showing you guys that so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and show you both side by side <laughs> show you guys what the first thing you see when you get into scratch and versus microbit so I think the main difference is for the home page is that you have a community of helpers or friends or people that you can follow on scratch here versus on microbit I don't see that I haven't been able to find it I'm sure it might be out there or maybe it's through some other platform but I haven't been able to find that community of people that are there to answer questions or people to follow, see projects from. And uh, as you can see, Scratch has the featured projects and all that stuff here. And uh, Microbit does not. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm not signing or something. But it might be that. And that's the difference, a uh, big difference is you create, for Scratch, you create an account to save a lot of the projects. For Microbit, it kind of just saves them as you go. Because I don't think I'm, I don't think I am signed in. No, I'm not signed in. So I don't know how it's saving my projects. I guess it's just based on the IP address of my, my computer. So then when we get into it, let's go ahead and get into that actual platform where you code. Just going to go into one of the empty ones I had. And this is how you how scratch looks right here on your left side. Now for microbit, you're going to have to do a uh, create a new project. And we're just going to call it I'm going to call it temp for temporary. And here has this option where you get to choose what kind of languages you want to use. If you choose the first one, it'll show you all three. And then if you choose the last two, you can you only see Python or JavaScript. And the reason I'm showing you guys this is because I think it's a good time to start showing you guys how to use another platform to create other stuff where you can actually start learning like Java or Python. And, and Python is very popular, so it'll be pretty good and easy to learn. It's not that hard to learn Python. It's... It's very interesting. Now let's go ahead and create here. And as you can see, uh, Scratch has their blocks here, their labels of each block, and Microbit also has their own here. So up the top, the colors, they use colors the same way as Scratch. I mean, they're not the same blocks, but they use colors to separate things as well. Now we have the basics where they use all the uh, on start. So the on start is basically kind of like the flag but you don't have to use it all the time. It depends on what you're working on, on microbit. And then you have inputs. And these are on your actual board. If you can see down here, right here on the bottom. So if you make it bigger, it'll go right here on the, on the side. And it allows you to use a, a virtual board. Because this board is actually out there. You can buy this board. But for those of you who don't have one or don't have the money to buy one, you can just use this one here to test your, your uh, projects. So in the inputs, they have like a show different numbers, uh, show different icons. So this this is basically a, uh, let's put it here so I can show you guys. It's, uh, it's like a representation of those LEDs here on this board. And if I were to put this... I don't know how to do that. <laughs> trying to make a happy face. If I were to do that, it would show right here on the screen. And that's how it would show on the actual board, depending on what you guys want to do. And like like you, like I said, you don't really need that for that start. 
it just do it and it it'll take a bit to refresh you know when it's refreshed when it's back into color and see so they have a lot of blocks and we're going to be exploring all these blocks in other tutorials because i want to start showing you guys how to use this kind of give you guys more of a well-rounded on other stuff and then we have these inputs and the inputs are again uh the things here the buttons and these these pins here And you can do a lot of cool things with it. You could read temperature, you could do uh, radio. There's a uh, music, like the music from like Scratch has, they can, you can do music as well. Uh, this one's for plotting, so you can do graphs and stuff like that. Now radio, radio is quite interesting. I wanna try that one out and I'm looking forward to trying that one out soon. So we'll see if I can come up with something to do the radio. Because this is different than Scratch. Scratch doesn't offer a radio. And I don't know, I, from what I've read, it would allow you to do live streaming radio. So that'll be interesting to find out. And then we have the loops. Uh, so they have the repeat loop like uh, Scratch does. They have the while loop. They have the... Uh, do they have, let me see, does Scratch have a for, for loop? So here's the repeat loop, like Scratch. And then we have the forever. And the forever for us is in this basics here. So technically we have it as well in Scratch, I mean in Microbit. And then let's see what else they have here. Where's the if? Do we have ifs? I'm assuming we'd have ifs. Is that in the basics? Nope. <laughs> no, that's under the logic. So, I'm still not too familiar on how they organize their blocks, but once I figure out this whole how they organize their blocks, I'll let you guys know. And the good thing about it is if you hover over them, they kind of tell you what they're used for. Like the actual blocks, you can actually hover over them and they'll give you, I mean, if you're lucky, I think if they're in here, and you hover over them. So if you hover over them, they should give you a description of what they do. And they'll look like these when they're not being used. So that's another another cool trick that you guys can know whether you're using something or not. And then they have all the operators here, kind of like Scratch has here. Scratch has a, has them as operators. Um, Microbit has them under Logic. And these ones are slightly different because you can change on the drag instead of pulling multiple ones. You can change them on the drag and drop thing here. And then they have multiple ones. Let's see, are they any different? No, why are they? Why do you have multiple ones? That's interesting. I don't know why we have two of those when they, I think both of them have exactly the same thing. Let me check. Yeah, it looks like they both have the same thing. Hmm. I don't know. Not sure why we have two. And then we have this one, which is similar to, I believe this one here. No, that's joining. Glitter, glitter, uh, one of Apple, no, that's for Apple length. Contains, it's kind of like contains, or not really. Well, technically it's like this one, because in Scratch, you can put whatever kind of type of variable you want here. Because you can put like monkey equals monkey to check this one just needs parentheses i guess and i wonder if we can you just use that one instead of this one but that's something we're going to look into it and it's all the operators are exactly the same as those two so i'm kind of curious why they did three different ones but that's something else that i'm going to be looking into and they have the variables too like scratch has there's the variables Looks like you create your own variables as well. Let's see, let's create one. Uh, let's call it uh, blue. 
what it does. Oh, okay, so you can set and change that variable. All right. So it looks like they have these two blocks here, the set and change. And then you can use your variable. They don't have the show variable or the height variable, but I think you can use this with other stuff here. I mean, obviously you can to kind of show that variable if you want to show it. Kind of like if you want to show number and then go to variables and put that in there. And then we put it in there. I don't think this does anything yet. Oh, it does. Look at that. It's showing zero. Oh, and the reason it shows zero is because automatically, by default, the variables that you create are going to be set to zero. So you don't have to go pull that set variable and set it to zero. It's already automatically set to zero. So if I go and set this variable to five, it's going to change in the next one. See, right there, it says my five. It's like very elongated five, but that's a five. And then we have a mat block area. And a lot of this stuff, it's under, yes, it's under the operators on Scratch. So I just kind of want to show you guys that they're very, the, the blocks idea is very similar. So don't be afraid to go try another platform. It's just so that you guys can explore. And this is more hardware based, which would be good for those of you who want to try hardware. Now, again, if you don't have the micro bit, it's okay. They have a simulated version of it. And uh, I understand sometimes it's hard to get some items, but you can try it here on the simulator. It should be cool for you guys to try out. And let's see. So they have a lot of the same similar things here. They're just named different. And you can always hover over them to kind of find out what they are. They'll tell you what they are. And I won't go through every single one because it would be too much. The video would be too long. And now the different things between those are we can create arrays, functions. They have the tech stuff. They have games. Games? What is games? Um, that is, that's interesting. They call their uh, their characters the same way. Sprite. That's pretty cool. We have images. So you can... Do a, a lot of stuff with this stuff. Um, they have cereal. I guess if you have hardware, you can create cereal. And then there's more. Okay. Controls. Hmm. Okay. So this is this is for uh, when we get to the advanced area. Oh, and then they have the, like, they have X. They have a... Uh, Sorry, let's go back. They have these extensions like uh, Scratch does. So this is how we discover about the microbit. We went through, we did a tutorial for, for Scratch using the microbit. And uh, I discovered that you don't need the microbit to demo it. You could just demo it on the actual site. So that's how we discover microbit. But microbit also has their own extensions of what you can use. So... They have Bluetooth. Obviously, you need Bluetooth. So if you guys don't have a computer that has Bluetooth, I wouldn't recommend you buying this. You can use the uh, the actual built-in uh, microbit that they have on here to test your projects. Because uh, I don't know what the money budget is on everyone's perspective. But the, the ability to be able to do all this cool stuff, it's, I think, amazing. So you can go through all of this and kind of try them. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using this guy because my husband has um, his office and we don't know when he's recording. So I would like to put something outside where he just presses a button and it'll turn on a bunch of LEDs so that we all know he's recording. So don't even bother opening the door <laughs> or knocking. So... That is one thing I'm going to be looking into. Okay. So that was a quick 
view on it. I just want to show you guys what the possibilities are out there because we're going to be looking more into the micro bit for you guys to kind of get more familiar with the hardware and how to read pins and things like that. And the micro bit is a very easy one to start with because it doesn't have that many pins. And we've done the uh, we've done the makey makey and we're going to continue doing things with the makey makey. We're going to continue doing things with scratch. I just want to get you guys more into other stuff so you guys can look into other possibilities so you guys get more well-rounded on everything out there and yeah I just want to make sure you guys um, know what's out there for you guys so uh thank you guys for joining me and uh, we'll see you guys on the next tutorial so for the next one we're gonna try to do the uh, tic-tac-toe game so you guys uh, look forward for that and like always, don't forget to subscribe and like us, leave your comments below. And thank you so much, guys, for joining us.